Okay guys, so I'm not normally a big fan of putting things under our arms, under our left or right arm, in order to keep ourselves nice and tight and connected with our golf swing. But I think when playing this 30 to 40 metre pitch shot, I think this towel drill can be quite effective. Um, and I'm gonna explain why. So what I've got here, I've just got myself a golf towel. It sits quite comfortably under my left and my right arm, or my leading arm and my trail arm. The idea here is when we swing the club back nice and smoothly for a 30 to 40 meter pitch shot, what we want to do is when we want to keep our rib cage and our leading arm and our trail arm moving at the same speed. Now, the idea of the towel is if one arm, the leading or trail arm, goes a little bit quicker than my body or my rib cage, what that does is that forces the towel to fall out. Okay, you can see that we've got that sort of chicken wing action happening there. Basically, that happens because my left arm has moved faster than the rest of my body. So the idea when hitting chip shots or pitch shots is to make sure that our rib cage, our shoulders, and our arms move at the same speed in order to hit that ball nice and cleanly. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration here with one of these balls and I'm gonna hit a shot about 20 or 30 meters. You can notice here, I've basically got, you know, 50% of weight on my both side. I, I, don't, I don't try to get my students to move all the way forward. It's 50-50 here. I'm gonna turn my rib cage back and my leading arm and my trail arm are gonna go at the same speed as my rib cage. Now, another thing to think about is a lot of people uh, ignore the actual sound of the club hitting the ground. So what we wanna pay attention to is the sole of the club actually sweeping the ground and causing that friction when the club hits the ground. So we get that club, if I move back a little bit further here so we can see, again, if I swing the club back and through, I can hear the friction of the sole of the club hitting the ground, which is a good thing. Now, obviously, if I don't hear that sound, that means I've whiffed the top of the ball, right? Which means we're gonna scull it. The ball's gonna shoot across the green as fast as possible. And obviously, if I dig into the ground, right, you're gonna hit that little chunk shot. So pay attention to the sound of the sole of the club hitting the ground. If we get that nice friction sound, that means we've moved in the right direction and we're probably gonna hit a good shot.